Just moments ago, a Fulton County judge denied bond for a former corrections officer accused of raping women in Sandy Springs, Cobb County, Alabama, and Florida over the last 10 years. Fox 5's Portia Bruner joins us now more uh, with more. And Portia, there are some disturbing details that came out in court today. Very disturbing, Joanne. In fact, it was just really very difficult to listen to the graphic details of what police say Matthew Moore did to two women in Sandy Springs and Fulton County. Prosecutors say the 49 year old Alabama corrections officer used handcuffs from a Jefferson County, Alabama jail to commit at least one of the assaults. They say he also used zip ties and weapons to force the women to comply with his demands. Now, he's accused of raping women he met on dating websites. In Sandy Springs, we're talking about a case in June of 2010 and another in November of 2017. Uh, but authorities, including the FBI, say DNA and cell phone evidence connects him to sexual assaults in Alabama and Florida. And right here in Metro Atlanta, well, as well, it appears uh, that's just one of the reasons why Craig, Judge Craig Shawell denied bond. Um, he did pull a knife on the victim, uh, threatened her at knife point that she was going to do whatever it was he told her to do on that occasion. Um, he cut off her clothing. Uh, he then handcuffed her or pulled out handcuffs and placed them on the bed, propped his cell phone up so he could record this incident. There is a DNA match that was just recently been confirmed to be the defendant. The defendant has also had case-to-case -case matches through, uh, to the incident, um, the uh, prior Sandy Springs incident to an incident that occurred in Cobb County where he impersonated a police officer to gain entry into a room with a person again contacted through this uh, method um, and did rape that victim as well. But people would think I had lost my mind if I gave this defendant a bond. And so I'm going to make a finding he's a flight risk and he's a danger to the community to can't commit more violent felonies. So bond is tonight. Now, Matthew Moore was arrested back in April at the St. Clair Correction Facility in Alabama, where authorities say he was employed at the time. Uh, Sandy Springs police detective testified that he has listened to every single phone call that Mr. Moore has made since he's been in the Fulton County Jail, saying that he is always asking about where his passport is located. That was one of the other reasons why the judge said, decided to deny bond, fearing that he might be a flight risk. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News. All right, Portia, thank you very much for the latest there. Well, we are following.